let's next create the line along which we'll extract sigma x. So <clears throat> uh, for that, I need to know what the, you know, what that appropriate y location is. So if I go back to, if I say coordinate system two, I see that the y location there is 0.331 or one. So I can highlight that and copy it, just the number. Um, and then I'll go and create the line. So highlight model and say construction geometry. And under construction geometry path, and I'll right click and rename the path. I'll call it line on front face. Okay, enter. So I need to tell it where the line needs to start. See, if I zoom out, um, right now it's, you know, it's right at, right over here. So I want, I can define the, um, the orientation and the global coordinate system because sigma x is, you know, it's the x is aligned with global coordinate system. That's a number of sampling points. I won't change that. But the start, I will give it in my coordinate system. And <clears throat> so you can see, it put it at the origin by default, but I want it at, not at the origin, but um, at the appropriate Y location. So I will paste the number that I just copied and I'll put a negative sign. Okay, and you can see that, okay, it's got the start of the path right. And then let me give it the end of the path. And for that, I just need to go and give it the origin of my coordinate system too. So I will just select my coordinate system too and the origin is a default. And if I zoom in here, I see that I have my desired path. By the way, I can also create uh, coordinate systems by offsetting, you know, by giving a, a specific offset and that's another way to do it. So now let's extract sigma x along this uh, line here or path as ANSYS calls it. So highlight solution in the tree and select stress normal and I'll rename that object as sigma x along line and so it's normal stress in the x direction um, but scoping method instead of plotting it over the geometry I want to plot it for a path okay and then under what path I have only one that I've defined that shows up so I'm going to plot sigma x for the line on front face and solve okay so that gives me the variation of sigma x along that line and shows me the, the minimum and maximum values and if i bring up the tabular data which might appear by default and in fact let me also bring up the graph okay and let me expand this and so i see i get a linear variation or nearly a linear variation which is what i expect and I have the corresponding values here. And I can export it into Excel. So I'll say right click, export. And I will select Excel. I can go to my working folder and give it an appropriate name. OK. So now I have an Excel file and I can use the data in the Excel file to make a plot uh, to compare the hand calculation value versus what I expect from, uh, what I'm getting from ANSYS. So I'll pin this and I will go back to the isometric view. I can zoom out um, and I will save the project.